community. Because people, like I said, they're not doing that. I don't see anybody doing that uh, out, out there. So I'm especially grateful, and I'm going to continue with it. So that's my story so far. Yeah. <laughs> I was really, really concerned to find out when I got here, raw food was actually basically all fruits and vegetables. So I was not too happy about because I like chicken and ice cream and uh, lots of, you know, not so good french fries and stuff like that. So I said, if the food tastes good, I'll, I'll stick with it. And this is day 30, so obviously the food tasted wonderful. I'd say probably the thing I noticed the most is probably this sense of community. And everybody's been very understanding and supportive. It's been awesome to have a good diet, um, but it's definitely been quite the experience to meet some of the people that I've met here. I fell off the wagon a lot during the holidays, but I think that made me realize, like, like making making those mistakes. It made me even stronger in the in the raw food direction because I just felt so bad after like after having that cooked food that it made me even more want to do this. So that's good. Um, so far during these 30 days, I've cut my medication in half. Wow. So wow. I'm not off or anything, wow. but still, that's pretty big. <laughs> um, wow. So yeah, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Huh? I'm going to talk here next. This was a nice experience. Uh, eating eating raw really does help you feel better. Um, the headaches go away after the detox. Um, uh, you just feel better. And uh, my skin, oh my God. Uh, now that I've been eating eating a veget a vegan, um, the lines went away, has went away in my face. My hair's gotten darker and my skin is getting really soft. I had a lady looking at my face the other day and she was amazed that I don't have the dark indentations under my eyes. She was just amazed. So I'm selling a lot of people on the in the raw vegan diet. <laughs> yes, I'll give you a hug, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. There we go. I'll give you a hug. Okay, Lamont. <laughs> Some good changes. Um, the energy level is even a little more than just doing the raw, the uh, vegan diet. And um, actually, the skin, your skin looks a little bit better, and it's all good. And um, you know, you're doing a good job here, Arnold, with the uh, raw foods diet. It's a good thing we need that, and I uh, hope more people get on board. Okay, good. All right. Good job. The market's the <laughs> So I'm Genevieve. I heard about it. Um, I'm on Arnold's, um, you know, email for the newsletter, and I saw it. And I was like, raw food for a month? <laughs> I called him. I was like, put me down. He was like, no, you have to come in. So the day that I was coming, I told my mom I had to, you know, come up here, and she always wanted to come to the restaurant. So I said, come along with me and. She came and she's excited and she's been on board and it's been um, an experience. Um, I had already started, um, you know, doing a vegan aspect um, and was losing weight with that. So I was a little apprehensive because I thought I would lose more weight, but my weight's been maintained, so it's a good thing. And the food is good, um, so yeah, I'm definitely going to consider this, you know, continue with this. I haven't been 100% raw, but, you know, with just eating the food here and the green smoothies. I can really see the difference with my energy um, and just, you know, feel happier, lighter. Um, so it's a good thing, and I think, and you know. And it's not a, you're happier, you're happier. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I think, you know, everyone here, you know, everyone who's been coming, and yeah, it feels like a big family with lots of support. So, thank you. Okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yeah.
Okay. Hey, next. Ruth. <laughs> well, I have to tell you, I pray that God will bless you a hundredfold. Oh, you had, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, a hundredfold more. Okay. Because this has really been an experience. I'm still off my doctor's medication. Wow. And I do not intend to go back. I mean, because where you taking? I was on two different pills wow. for my diabetes. But my diabetes was like... Did it get completely better? <laughs> no, it's not completely better yet. Right. But I, I believe that once I lose the rest of the weight that I'm supposed to lose, that it's going to be, it's going to level out and it's going to be okay. okay. So I still have some work to do. Right. But my energy is better. I'm not always tired. Right. I can go up the steps. So that's a good thing. Oh, that's a good thing. So, you know, I, I decide for the new year I'm going to really work harder than I did these 30 days to really stick with the smoothie and the raw food to get my weight down. So, it's a good thing. That's good. And I'm telling my friends, and I have this one friend, I'm going to try to talk her into coming here because she's been struggling with her weight for so long and she's diabetic also. So I hope that she will agree to come and maybe you can talk to her and between you and I, we can get her to consider the, the raw diet because it really works. Next is Rick. What's your last name? Yeah, I know. My name is Rick. Free meals was was nice and everything, but it was the education of, of you know making that change. I really need to know how to make some type of salad dressing though. Mm -hmm. That's my goal here. Yeah, the class. Eighty cents in class. Yeah, I get a class on salad dressings. I'm trying to you know find something that matches something that I have here because the food here is absolutely delicious. Everything that I was introduced mm -hmm. to. Um, yeah, <coughs> It's just great. I'd like to thank Arnold. Thank Anna. Okay. You're welcome. That's still my last name. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Yeah. Oh, what are we sharing? Sorry, I'm late. <laughs> 30 days. Oh, just like input on it? <laughs> input, yeah. Input, okay. Um, you know, it's great. I'm not completely raw, but, you know, I'm definitely a lot more healthier than I was, which is great. I have a lot more energy. Uh, I'm a lot more positive about a lot of things, so it definitely you know helped out a lot, and I'm feeling good. Good, excellent. Yeah, it's the easiest way to put it. <laughs> yes, you guys. Good, nice. Boss, come here, dog. But that's on your refrigerator. That's the hardest <laughs> pass you ever take. I guarantee you. Okay, let's give it a hug. Okay, thank you. Yeah, and, um, Hi, Mike. Thanks. Congratulations. Okay. Maybe I just introduce me. Anybody have any questions? About anything? I'm waiting. <laughs> Any questions? Yeah. How often do you eat cooked food? I eat cooked food about two, three times a week. <coughs> I like. Uh, What's your I favorite thing? I like going Chipotle. <laughs> you get rice and beans. I get. You know what? It's funny. I start off with rice and beans and the chips and everything. As, as, as but I think I have a grandson. That's our tradition. I would go to movies and go to Chipotle. Okay. So I had this bond with him, and I kind of honor my bond. Like tomorrow, coffee. And I want coffee because I know coffee. Coffee, I'll pay for it in no time. Potatoes, I won't pay, but coffee, I will. Coffee, I'll stay much. Uh, Ten o'clock at night, eleven o'clock at night, I'll, I'll, keep, I'll keep myself in the ass. Like Starbucks coffee, I won't touch ever. It's just too powerful. A lot of these diners serve this sweet coffee. Maybe once every two months. Reading them, trying to absorb as much of this information as I can. Um, the one thing that I have seen, and I've talked to you about it briefly, is there's a lot of conflicting there's information. There's a lot of conflict, and everyone's right. Oh, everybody stands, Every, everyone stands firm on their own premise. Stands firm. Like, Absolutely. Like, you know, you talk about 
being committed to Raw right. and occasionally here. Right. Then there's, um, I talked to you about John McDougal. Right. He preaches a starch-based diet. Right. Plant-based, but starch right. as the center. Right. Right. And his premise behind that is historical culture. Right. Aztecs, Mayans. You, you do know, whatever Japanese. works. I'm saying you have to do whatever works for you. I'm, just, I'm not even saying that I'm right. Because no, no. the people in a fruit diet, I don't know if anyone has lived a long time. I don't know. Tissue Fry was the most famous one. He died at 70. Uh, Shelton at age 80, and he's the most, he's a father of all kind. At age 80, he developed Parkinson's disease. Mars Crock died at 82. Um, oh, there are so many fruitarians that are like 80 already. 80, but I don't know. I don't know of any that I know of. Okay, so no, that you know, but no, there are many. Like Mimi Kirk, for what? example. Mimi Kirk. She's been vegan since she was she's, 18 she's, years she's old. Not, she's not vegan. She's Malcolm vegan. Is, Malcolm is his She's vegan. raw vegan. But I mean, they're, 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 they're not 100. They're, I'm talking about fruitarian base. Oh, fruitarian. Uh, I don't uh, know of fruit, any. Fruit, not, not veggies. Not veggie. I don't know of any. Uh, yeah, really. Malcolm is... He's, 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 uh, he's 85. He's, he's 85. 80, 85 percent. Mimi Kirk, I think they're 80, 85 percent. Yeah, he's 85 percent yeah, raw, 15 yeah. percent. But he's 100 percent vegan. Right. I mean, the one thing I've learned the most is to listen to my body. Listen to your body. Yeah. Like if you okay, eat I'm something. I'm going to you something here. What? I'm going to find something. Okay. Okay. It's based on study, okay? I just okay. made it up. <laughs> listen alive. Not saying it's right, not saying it's wrong. you got to do what resonates with you. Well, you eat a lot of watermelon, and that's a lot watermelon, of Watermelon, yes. I mean, uh, Megan drinks a lot of water. Most, most raw foods drink a lot of water. Uh, I, I, I doesn't resonate with me. You got to do what resonates with you. Everyone's right, you just got to listen what's be best for you. Uh, yeah, well, I think this is important to add, very interestingly, is that Dr. Alan Walker, a Penn State University anthropologist, reported by the New York Times in 1979, my years of birth, by the way, yeah. <laughs> suggested every tooth examined by the homo, um, by the homonies of 12 million year period leading up to Homo erectus appeared to be of a fruit eater. So I think it's an important point to, to learn, this is what natural hygiene says, look at your roots, you know, we, we developed last, last few centuries this kind of eating because we get smart and think, let's make things better, but we raised on this planet to be fruit eaters, this is how we used to feed ourselves before, and there was no doubts about how we used to eat, we just lost our instincts somehow, like no other species on this planet, but we've been designed to eat fruits mainly, and I really deeply believe that this is what we should look look the answers for in terms of keeping us healthy and, and in best shape. Very good. I'm not, I'm not advertising, but I'm really inspiring. Uh, <laughs> ready for some food? Help yourself. Help yourself. Thank you. You, uh, you used to tell me that you uh, you've made quite a few videos in your life. Uh, are you still can? What? Are you still counting? Uh, you told me one time. 806. 806 videos you made yeah. in your lifetime? Yeah. And none of them were a financial success. None, so, of none of them, right? None of them. You are over 806? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're is, still in business, so you might be doing something, right? The thing is, if you get a certain amount of hits, views, even if they don't pay for it, they start giving me money. I start doing that. I haven't received any money yet, as of today. But it comes in uh, in other ways, though. Yeah. yeah. I'm still in business. Yeah, you're still in business, right. This song is about true love. Not love of another person, but love of ourselves. For we ourselves are very important. What we put in inside ourselves determines how we love, how we feel, how we are. It's called true love comes with the first fight. Flowers flown against the windy side of purple haze. Mission bells ring out their tunes. Shoes of fame walked at the nine. Listen to our hearts, listen to our souls. True love comes with the first bite. No phone against the front door, eight inches deep. No school today. Television off, breakfast left untouched. Running out the door, mother yells out. A tiny murmur of what's right comes echoing in my ear. 
true love comes with the first fight. Music rages, then stops. Voices from old, him carrying a tune. I remember when eating watermelon was the thing. Non-stop, morning to night. Oh, so many seeds thrown out. True love comes with the first bite. And the day of all days beckons me outdoors. The snowy white flakes line the halls of make-believe. No sound heard from those paperboard boxes that have little worth without electrical cords. The vision of red juicy golden stardust comes prancing in my head. True love comes with the first bite. So we play, we sing, we remember what's important, what's not. The road is awful meals and paper boxes away. Being totally happy is remembering. True love comes with the first bite. I eat my strawberries, I eat my melons, I eat my cherries. True love comes with the first bite. I went on the 30-day program because, uh, well, Arnold's been helping me a lot over the past year. Um, last year, I got very sick, and uh, suddenly I wasn't able to basically keep any food down. Went to the hospital. They just judged me away, said, good luck with your cancer treatment, and here's the name of a specialist. And the specialist ran all the tests, checked me for diabetes, Cancer, Crohn's, IBS, everything came back negative. Started coming here, having the smoothies, and lost uh, 100 pounds over the course of a year. Um, so then when the 30-day program came up, I said, what the heck, I'll try it. <laughs> and lost an additional 20 pounds just in December alone while on the roll diet. Um, a friend of mine had told me about Arnold's Way uh, before. Um, he, he used to come in here. Uh, I started following the YouTube videos that I found online, and I just happened to see um, Arnold offering the program on there, and that's how I, I found out about it. And I, I, I figured, why not? So, um, saying you got to go to Arnold's, you got to go to Arnold's, and I was just feeling so crappy at the time that I didn't really know or where he was, but I knew it was close. Um, but yeah, I watched him for probably a couple weeks, um, just searching videos on raw foods and on people that are dealing with uh, illnesses all alternative wise and that's how I found them. Well, a lot of things had happened prior to uh, de uh, December. Uh, I had just about made up my mind that I was not going to eat meat, fish, chicken, anything that, that walked or would fly in the air or as they say have a face or a mother. I was not going to eat that kind of food. And it just so happened that um, I uh, decided to visit Arnold, and uh, I noticed on the table he had a brochure that, where he was going to be starting a 30-day raw fast for about 30 people. And I said, oh, I really want to do that. But, but it was in December. And I thought, this is not going to be a good time because of the Christmas holiday. But as Arnold said, you're just going to do the best you can and, and uh, we'll see, we'll go from there. I heard about the 30 Day Raw, uh, Raw program from Arnold's walking down the street. There was a marquee outside. I saw it. He said he needed 30 people to do 30 Day Raw and the food was absolutely free, so I jumped on it. My intentions were initially to lose some weight and, and to do a cleanse. And um, I achieved all those goals. I had tried other diets. Um, basically my issue started back in 2005 when I started noticing my food sensitivities. Um, and it seemed like the, the harder I tried to lose weight, the worse everything got because um, I, I don't know if it was just because I was eating things with more chemicals in it and it was just making things worse. Um, so <laughs> raw diet figured, you know, what the heck, give it a shot. Can't be worse than anything else I've tried. 
Uh, any type of improvement whatsoever. Um, it was more of just me listening to my body and seeing how I felt, and um, any benefit was what I was looking for. Uh, I'm not any different from anyone else in America. I've tried a hundred different diets. However, back in the 80s, I was influenced by the macrobiotic diet, and I was on that diet faithfully for four years. And it agreed with me. I really got well. I really got strong. However, uh, however, I gave it up. Um, I joined the 30 Day Raw program because um, I needed to make some health changes. I was having some health issues, and um, <clears throat> I was on medication, and I wanted to come off of the medication because the medication wasn't working. So I thought if I changed my diet that would be a better option for me. I mean, I'm very skeptical when it comes to, to food and changing your diet. Um, you know, I grew up in, a, in an Italian household where, where meat was prevalent and dominant, and I thought it'd be really tough. I thought the food itself would be uh, less than desirable, and that it would be difficult for me to, to maintain a, a vegan diet, let alone a raw vegan diet for any length of time. Um, well, I lost my appendix from food poisoning when I was young, and then uh, about a decade later, I lost my gallbladder. Uh, again, they, they think it was because of some type of food poisoning. So my body does not have the organs necessary to digest certain foods, and uh, mostly the chemical or the Franken foods, as I like to call them, the genetically modified foods. Um, they just do not sit well with me. The only thing I can say is that it's a liability is more of uh, temporary discomfort and that was the detox stuff so I can see how people um, they start dealing with something or start having pains or aches and go I'm, I'm done you know I can, I can sympathize with that but because um, the detox was you know was some tough things to go through I had like a little gastrointestinal stuff and fatigue really bad for a couple of days but I stuck with it and, and I'm glad that I did. Okay the biggest thing with uh, my friends uh, was where are you going to get your protein and when I said there's plenty of protein and vegetables and fruits and they didn't buy into that but that's okay I believe that I believe that's true I don't have to eat meat or eggs to get protein. Um, did the 30 days like I said with ease everything that I've eaten along the way um, here at Arnold's plus the recipes that I've learned and taken home has all been flavorful all been excellent um, no cravings no desire whatsoever for animal protein haven't touched animal protein since uh, Thanksgiving of uh, 2012 so and now we're here it's uh, February 2nd I've been animal protein free the whole period sticking to the vegan diet um, predominantly raw occasionally eating some warm things here or there in the cold months and with no problems my energy level was a lot higher it still is um, I don't I don't know if it's just a, it was a hardcore detox <laughs> I don't know you know um, but I just, I'm always raving about this program and telling everyone to try it. Because why not? What do you have to lose but the weight or maybe some kind of ailment? In the first week, I saw a decrease in my, my back pain. I was able to move a little bit better. Um, I was able to go up and down the stairs, you know, without holding on. And um, I was still able to, you know, walk and, and be on my feet. On my job, I'm on my feet almost the whole entire shift of my work. I'm a, I'm a nurse. So I was able to make it through the whole day and, and not you know, feel fatigued at the end of the day because of the pain. So I saw that within the first week. So I was, I was really happy about that. Well, everything was fine for about the first two weeks. And then I started cleansing. My nose wouldn't start running. I developed, I don't know, I, I was sneezing and coughing. I felt very, very cold. And this lasted for about three weeks. And, and uh, then my ears got blocked. And I was feeling pretty miserable during the Christmas uh, holiday. 
And uh, however, all of the, uh, and I got did I did I tell you I was dizzy from my ears being blocked? So uh, I've been hanging in there. I I mean I've been eating the raw diet, but I have I haven't been all that well. And uh, now within the last I think it's been about three days the dizziness has disappeared, and I think I'm feeling I, feel, I think I'm feeling good. However, when I look at myself in the mirror, I look very pale. But that's okay. I wasn't exercising. Um, I spent mm -hmm. most of my time soaking in the bathtub or laying in my bed. So um, <clears throat> those are the things I've tried uh, for pain relief. Uh, for my blood pressure, I tried uh, natural supplements, of course, from the health food store. But um, that helped some, but it didn't help quite enough. Just about all of it was unexpected. Um, one of the major things, though, that was unexpected um, I haven't been able to smell really for probably the last five years, uh, barely anything, and I can breathe through my nose, I can smell things again, I can taste things differently, like more richer, and that was something I wasn't expecting. Um, but even the, even the rest of the stuff that I've had that was positive, you know, my sleep increasing, my energy increasing, all of it really has been, you know, surprising to me because I've, I've done things that haven't really given me results. And, for me, it's worked, so I'm happy, that's for sure. So, um, changing, uh, going with the raw food was, you know, a really drastic move for me. I didn't know if I was going to be able to do it, but uh, once I started and saw how easy it was, um, I saw um, some changes immediately, especially dealing with my pain. When I started this program, I was uh, close to 200 pounds. When I started my transformation, I was 220 pounds. Um, it's now February 2nd, and I weigh 174 pounds. Um, the weight just melted away with very little effort. Um, green smoothies, very key element. To this day, I drink probably about 64 ounces of green smoothies a day, um, coupled with uh, lots of fruits and vegetables. When I went on the raw program, about once a week, I would allow myself to eat cooked vegetables. I did not have any meat or chicken or fish and once in a while I would allow myself to have a, a, a piece of bread. <laughs> not like white bread, I would get something from uh, Tabora, something that was, you know, handmade, not, not processed, things like that. Um, just in the event that I had a craving. That's the one thing that I did miss um, was, was bread. I've always heard about raw because I had